Did you know men stopped women playing football at the highest level for 50 years? And now we got Sammy Kerr scoring bangers at a packed Wembley Stadium. Christian Volpato made his debut for Roma and Sydney FC and Western Sydney Wanderers both let him go. How do we let that happen? We all know toe sucking is okay in the bedroom, but is it ever okay on a football pitch? We're going way offside today. He's born offside. Taking What's happening, guys? Welcome to episode 7, CR7 of the Born Offside podcast. I'm joined by the usual suspects, kicking off with Kat and Olan Tekkers. I'm going to kick it off with a question that came in from Mikael Ten on Insta because he wants Ooh. to know, Olan, how you went in the quarterfinals of the African Cup? Oh, wow. Did you bomb out? Is this how it started? Did you bomb out? Is this how it started? I didn't actually even know. Oh, my gosh. You haven't said anything about it. fuck. What happened? You guys were like superstar team. I know. Well, to be fair, we had a few people, a few injuries and that. Mm. Um, and yeah, they, you know what? South Africa, they were, they were a good team. What it was, they had, um, I think they had maybe three, four guys from Hills, so MPL yeah. too. Yeah. And um, I remember everyone's, everyone, was t- everyone was telling us about the, the guy who actually scored. <laughs> it was a banger of a goal. And all three goals, by the way, outside the box. Mm, so nothing so to do with you. I can't do much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, scre- I'm screaming midfield. Where are you at? <laughs> so and, uh, it was a three-one last year. I almost scored two. Had one cleared off the line. One hit the post. Mm. So I'm doing big verge stuff. Yeah. Normal, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. just other people aren't pulling the weight. But we move, man. Next year, any team that's in the finals, I'll be there. Promise <laughs> just, you. Just one of those. Uh, just one of those days at the office. Cat, yeah. how was your weekend? Good. It was good. It was very chill. Watched yeah. a lot of football. Mm. Stayed up. Onside or offside, the fact that we have to wake up at 3 a.m. to watch a football oh, game. so far offside. Aren't you it's used to so it It's so offside. You, you know should be what? used to it. I understand Ola not liking that, but you've grown up here. You should be used to it. Well, yeah. my excuse is that I spent time in Europe mm. and I got to actually enjoy it, you know, oh, at, an, at really. an appropriate hour. Yeah. <laughs> is it weird that I like it? Well, you wake up for at what time for the highlight show? Yeah, but like I like yeah. it. I grew up like that because yeah. what I found was even when I was overseas and when I'm in Europe, mm. there's stuff to do during the day. So like I might miss a football match. Whereas here, yeah. there's nothing to do at 4 a.m. That's true. Yeah. There's nothing to do at 1 a.m. So yeah. you got no excuse to miss a football match, yeah. I find. Yeah. Like I find myself like eight, like for example, there's a cracking A-League game. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. It's 7 p.m. on a Saturday. Yeah. I'm okay, out fair. boogieing or something. True. And I miss the game. True. But there's no excuse to miss a Prem match or a Serie A match or whatever because they're on it like times when you Unless should really like, be doing no you're right and it doesn't stop could me you pav. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, you could hit you could do could you pav and then uh, catch yeah, a yeah. The, is true, true. the timing true, works true, for true, that true. Yeah. no you're right it's true i think maybe for some reason this weekend just hit me yeah a bit harder you're struggling normal. Liverpool and, and Liverpool kept it quite quiet until the last minute as well. Origi popping Arigi. up again. Arigi. Love when he does that. Corner last taken minute. quickly. Yeah, it had to be him. He isn't always it? delivers on a whenever they need a goal, doesn't he? Yeah, that's what Klopp said. Like whenever Origi scores, it's always like a special moment or something. Yeah, like that. always. Like a there's moment. a phrase that's going viral. It's like there's no football without Origi. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing? Oh, I think Apparently. there is football without Origi. I think I'd be alright without Origi. Yeah. Look, <laughs> even as a Liverpool fan, I, I think there is That's probably a Liverpool fan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a phrase going around. We'll yeah. give some love to United as well because uh, we saw Ralph Rangnick kick off his reign at Man United. Yeah. And, you know, I got some I got some mates, United fans, really piping up about this guy. Mm. Really piping really? up. Like in my piping group up chat, like they're excited. Like too excited. Oh, like like I've, I've heard some people saying, I've never been this excited for a football wow. manager like since Sir no. Alex Ferguson. And it's like, oh, okay, like it's okay. fine. I'm still yet to see it. He came in. Everyone's one raving thing, about uh, the system. Yeah, one thing I did notice was the pressing was yeah. immense. It's a one 0 win against Palace. Bro. Yeah, it's a one 0 win against Palace. But I think what Come fans but are it's seeing, a win. yeah, it's a win's a win, it's and a I win. think it's just they're seeing like they feel like their team is rejuvenated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, but we don't know. Time will tell. They played the old uh, FIFA formation, which used to be an absolute cheat code on FIFA, the 4 2 2 2. So they had Sancho and, and Fernandez in those positions playing as like attacking midfielders. But of course, it was Fred who was the man to score the all important goal. I love how goal. you looked at Ola and when you <laughs> said Fred. <laughs> I had to pop up with a little finish here and there. And and how no, was how about Olan sliding into Fred's uh, wife's? What happened? No, here? no, what happened? Uh, well, basically, F- Fred's wife's acknowledged me. So basically, <laughs> that is my missus now. <laughs> Didn't you say something about picking up the kids? Or? Um, yeah, he she commented and I said uh, she commented laughing faces on the video of me like being Fred and I said. Um, <laughs> Make sure, make sure you pick up the kids on time. <laughs> <laughs> Bonita at the end. <laughs> Little Spanish Portuguese in Fred's there. Fred's going to block you. Yeah, yeah Fred's going to wake happy. up in one of my actual blocked by Fred. Like, he doesn't want to collaborate. I'm That's like, oh, man. Too Blew funny, my chance. Though. Well, you know you're her type. 
hey, Fact. I'm not halfway there. Fact. You know what I mean? I look like your your husband. You know don't know if you've got his bank account. Yeah, I just don't have the bank account or the technique. But anyway. <laughs> Quality. I mean, he was copping a lot of stick earlier this season. but now he he's cop stick, though, He cops stick, he? but he especially cops it from most. you. I, listen, if Fred has a bad performance, I fucking know about it, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> That's true. My comments are flooded with, why'd you play shit this weekend? What's <laughs> going on with you? Get out of my club. If he plays well, it's the flipping opposite. Yeah. Like, well done. We love you. Stay at the club. Mm. Like, I don't even have to watch United. I just have to watch my comments. Well, they can't get True. through to Fred, so they, they know yeah. they can get through to Oland. Yeah. Kat, another man who, of course, uh, people are questioning how his role will be under Ralph, and that's Cristiano Ronaldo. I thought he mm. adapted quite well, and I'm sure this guy has played under that many managers. He's going to adapt to whatever system, and he has to start. He You've said to. it before he on the podcast. Mm. But there's this one that came out last week. Uh, he, he actually hit out at France Football's editor. Of course, mm. they're the people in charge of picking the Ballon d'Or. Mm. Because mm. they wrote about him saying Ronaldo has only one ambition, and that is to retire with more Ballon d'Ors than Messi. So he's going to be quite upset. Set at wow, this one. his one ambition. He was triggered. One by ambition, it. you know. Yeah, that's, that's a, a violation. Big comment to make. What do you think is that offside? Yeah, yeah. That's so it's far Ronaldo. Offside. Yeah, he's clearly got far more ambition than. I actually think at that level, are they really paying such close attention? Do to they even the care? The Ballon d'Or. Are they in competition with each other? Or is that just like we've created I, that? I reckon we created that, but then obviously they obviously embraced it as well. But I feel like now. Like if this if he says that recently, I don't feel like Ronaldo's biggest thing in his mind is no. winning the Ballon d'Or. No. They're gonna I mean. think about it, surely. Yeah. Yeah. But he, I remember this interview of Rafael Nadal saying that no one understands his life better than Roger Federer. And as much as people okay. wanted to pin them against each other and say, "Hey, like there's there's a rivalry here," yeah. Yeah. the reality is when you're at that level, very few people actually understand yeah. what it's like. Yeah. So they actually have this amazing thing in common. Mm. That should connect them rather than separate yeah, them. Yeah, I think Ronaldo did say that in an interview a few years ago when he said like just about being at the top and like all the top players, like how they all kind of have a mutual respect and understand each other because they're all they all want to be the best. Mm. They all want to win everything. So it's like there's not only a small number of people that have actually done it. Yeah. Mm, so like those exactly. people often more often than not don't hate each other they like actually get yeah. along yeah right. you have to yeah. yeah exactly and they sit next to each other at the Ballon d'Or and everything yeah. seems alright yeah, yeah. I mean they those cameras right. are on them so yeah, who yeah. knows they seem cool well Ralph actually came out saying he's never seen a 36 year old in this type of shape like it's outrageous oh, the he's way he's in shape. you've yeah. got to be like you've got to be a little bit twisted up there I think to have that level of physicality at that age like surely yeah. all that money all that fame we saw what it did to players like Ronaldinho and that just I decide, know you know, I just like, wonder what happens to Ronaldo when he retires yeah what's he gonna what's he gonna have because he's, he's had that football in his life yeah. for you got to think the last 20 odd years or so and yeah. that's been his sole focus and that's what he's dedicated mm. everything to mm. you know what I mean and nothing else quite comes close to like no. stepping on that pitch doing no. what you do scoring those goals so yeah. it's like I'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what, what path he goes down what do we think that. he's going to do though he's I don't see him as a pundit no, 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 no. I don't see manager, him as a like manager no. maybe manager no. do you I think he's just going to go that, MIA do you remember, that, um, do you remember the, when Portugal won the 2004 yeah I don't even know 2016 Euros yeah, he, he, was was basically, the, he was basically the manager yeah he was on yeah. the sideline yeah he has that passion he could maybe he could actually now that I think about it he's a business but he's got like Cristiano Ronaldo underwear Cristiano Ronaldo Freire this is true Cristiano Ronaldo hotel does he need it Cristiano Ronaldo hotel Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? CR Seven Hotel. He's got that. Is it in Madeira? Is it? In yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's got the, the airport's named after him in Madeira as well. He's got as literally it should be. Air maybe he, as just, it should maybe be. he just goes back to Portugal and <laughs> just, just chill. Man. Just chill. I'm sure he'll make. Honestly, I would just chill if yeah. I was him. Yeah, I think he was the second person after Michael Jordan to sign a lifetime contract with Nike as well. So wow. you get paid doing nothing. Yeah. I mean, he's he's yeah, but he's, he's that type of guy. He's just so committed, and I think yeah. we haven't seen. We haven't seen the end of him, which worries no. me as an Italian because, of course, Italy have to play Portugal most likely to get to the World Cup. Whoa. I'm very worried about that. It yeah. comes up a lot. I can tell that you're really freaking out. I'm about freaking it. out about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not looking forward to it, if I'm honest. But uh, we'll wait. see. We'll see. Uh, Chelsea on the weekend, they lost as well. A bit of a reality check for them. They slipped to third. Well, I'm sitting with two Chelsea fans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you feel? Bit shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just don't like the way everyone's jumping on us and like, oh, Chelsea in the mud because you guys lost one. I'm like, shut up, man. Mm. It's one game. Yeah. Take Ham. your time. It's, also, it's also a West top Ham. four team that's exactly. doing incredibly. It's, it's yeah. this top four team. Was it a cross or a shot? It's definitely a cross. It's a cross, yeah. But oh, God, I, don't, I don't know. He's oh, hit so weird. Cat. The thing is, he hits that ball nine times out of ten again. He, he does not do that. Yeah, no. fair. You know what I mean? No. So, like, I, that's why I'm saying... If you're thinking, look at the time it was. It was the 93rd minute. Mm. Are you shooting from that angle mm. in the 93rd minute? Probably yeah. not because your striker is going to be screaming at you. Yeah. And he also looked a bit like, did yeah. that just happen? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I mean, of course. But yeah. they all count, don't they? They all count. They all count. Yeah. You take it either way. Chelsea slipped a third. That's an awesome title race we have on our hands there. And I just want to shout out and say Tottenham find mm. themselves. I think it was two points off West Ham now, and they've got a game in hand as well. So they'll yeah. be back in the top four. Antonio Conte's got something up his yeah, sleeve. He does. Yeah, I told you. I knew. I knew that. He'd it's not do, um, Kane though. Do well. Yeah, no. He not firing, is severely is he? underperforming. Not firing at all. Don't need him. You got Lucas. You got Son. You got players pulling goals like that out of their ass. You don't yeah. need. You don't need him. But yeah. interested to see what Spurs do under that. I'm going to bring it back to the local game. Let's go. Sydney FC are still winless in the A League. They sit Ooh. second last in the ladder. Yeah, that's because they're not the best Sydney team. In oh. the A League, are they? It's the uh, Wanderers. So. Uh, have they fallen off? I mean, we had a question here from Andrew. He's asked, "Is this the end of the Sydney FC reign?" I think it's a bit early. First of all, to definitely call that. too early for yeah to be settle calling down. that three settle games down. in. Yeah, settle down. Everyone else is just caught up. I don't know much about Sydney FC. I don't take that, like I'm Wanderers through, through, and, through and through. You through. know what yeah. I mean? So I, I know we had the win on Friday night against Phoenix. You know what I mean? So first win of the season. I know the boys are firing down there, but Sydney, I, d- I don't know what's going on down there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, looks like they're just taking a bit longer to warm up. Yeah, yeah. but it's Sydney, right? Like they've, they'll they've come got good, a fantastic they? history yeah. in the A League. Yeah. They'll be fine. Yeah, I like They'll to see back. it mix up a little bit. I but like to see. I think they're yeah, being too comfortable. Right with that. Speaking of the A League, what about the Melbourne score? Did Melbourne lose again? Melbourne victory. Victory got done three 0 by Perth. Yeah, yeah, because like didn't they last week they did all right and then everyone's yeah. like victory back. top of the league. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and then bang, they bang. Lose this week. back in <laughs> the right mud. back to where they were yeah. before. And no sign of Danny Sturridge, huh? No sign of Danny Sturridge. What are we saying about that cat? Oh, I think he's he's just doing what we thought he might do, which mm. is he's uh, kind of just done it for attention. Mm. Yeah, I really hope that he just proves us wrong because I want to see I him. know, I do too. I want to see him back I out there. Too. But he might, if he came in for a paycheck, <laughs> he might have. We don't know. He's well, still recovering from quarantine in that tiny hotel room. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> really was, struggled. It rattled him. That, that was, was a shoebox. That was so upside. This guy's juggled that. Premier League with Champions League schedules, but he got rattled by a hotel room. Oh, he no, I know. Really and that, no, but Claude's that flight yeah. from Perth to Adelaide is Shocker. Oh, that's a big <laughs> it's a shocker. Yeah, please, true. please, come on, Danny Sturge, get out there. People are waiting for you to play. I hope he does. I think he, the manager came out saying he will play next week, so we'll finally see him do something. But all eyes will be yeah, on him. Yeah, let's see, let's see. All eyes will be on him. The A-League has started very well. The A-League women kicked it off. Did. Of course, it's now called the A-League women. Mm. It's no longer the W-League for the first time ever. Mm. Another rebrand. Off. Another rebrand. They've actually merged the socials. What do you think about this, right? Yeah. So the a- merged the So socials. the A-League men and A-League women now is on the same uh, like social media page. Yeah. Didn't like it didn't seem like a huge deal. But the comments have been ripping them to shreds. I don't agree yeah. with that. What That's a bit offside. Yeah, you think it's so offside? So you're scrolling through and there's no differentiation between male or female. It's just kind of like Together. all on one feed. Yeah, yeah. But could you imagine if they did that with the Premier League? Yeah. Well, that, uh, what do you what do you think the reaction would be over I in the UK? Think like they'd be getting roasted. Yeah. In the comments. Just but do you like, think it's because if I want to see. If I want to follow women's football, I will click on the women's football page. Yeah, you don't mind following two pages. Yeah, that, so you can clearly. Yeah. Do you follow women's football? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite close. I feel like in if fact. we were to, know, if we were to ask Ellie, Ellie Carpenter, yeah, good okay. If her. we were to ask Great someone plan. who's equally as interested in women's, they probably yeah. wouldn't care. So, what do you think, Kat? Do you like the two of them being merged? It is something. Well, it's something we're going to talk about later. Is, is the fact that women, like historically, football women, it's been complicated. Let's talk about it now, right? All so right, yeah. I think I was gonna I was gonna segue into this one by saying Sammy Kerr's won the FA Cup over. Yeah. In oh, England. big up Sammy Kerr! Incredible chip, her, her two chip goals. Was disgusting. Yeah, right? yeah. She's a that chip was beautiful. Yeah. That's what that player wanted to do last week when we were at the Wanderers game. Oh, oh my! Oh yeah. Fail. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. That. <laughs> Prime Didier Drogba uh, gave me shades of Didier Drogba, of course, at Wembley, stepping up like that against Arsenal. Yeah. This time it was Sammy Kerr. Double, wins the FA Cup, huge. Chelsea just have a knack of winning. They finished their, their domestic Beautiful. quadruple. Super side, that one. And yeah. it was just it was timely, given that it was 100 years since women were actually banned from playing football yeah. in the UK. And then Australia followed that as well and passed that law. And they oh. were banned. For 50 years yeah. from terrible. proper organized That's football so leagues. You lot was in the kitchen for 50 years. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a long That's a violation. Time. I want all the you women to just come kitchen. at Olan you in his comments. That. That. <laughs> That's a long Because you know no, what? No wonder they came out and they was balling out. You know what I mean? They yeah. was, they was re- you were ready to get out there. I yeah. understand that. I understand yeah. it. You like, can't come back from that. You can understand why a lot of these women hate men. Firstly, with that comment from Olan, and secondly, with 50 years being 50 banned. years it, the reason so f- f- footballs and fame footballs 
Mm-hmm. Females in football. Thank yeah. you. I'm a bit tongue twisted. I'm mm-hmm. getting very passionate yeah. about this. <laughs> oh God, I've got to During the First World War, yeah. the men left, right? Oh. The women started playing. They were raising money. They were doing all kinds of stuff. And yeah. they were doing really well and with it. And the crowds were pumping as well. Well, this is the thing. A lot have a theory that part of the reason they got banned was because there was an FA Cup game where the women brought in just as many yeah. spectators as uh, the men's yeah. did. At Goodison Park. Oh, really? Yeah, Everton so home ground. December 1921 was the last game they played at Goodison Park. They, they got 53,000. The men women. got like 50,000 and something, yeah. right? Wow. So the women got more attendance. Mm. Shortly after that, all of a sudden, women cannot play on in stadiums. Yeah. They're saying, you know, wow. I no for idea. whatever reason, women shouldn't be able to use these pitches and blah, blah, blah. You can keep playing, but you can only use it on approved. Well, you know what? I've got one in. So apparently doctors got involved at the time. And, and this doctors. was... this was <laughs> Why are doctors this, getting involved? This in? was written in 1920 run, right? Kicking is too jerky a movement for a woman. The frame of a woman is more rounded than a man's. Her movements should be more rounded and less angular. Therefore, does not suit the game of football. That's class. Can you believe that? <laughs> That's Can class. You? you are just consistently offside. <laughs> no, but the, the fact that they came up with that excuse. Yeah, but you know what? Bullshit. <laughs> to, to not all you... not all clubs took that advice. Oh, yeah. But it, it, before long, UEFA was like, yeah. That's facts. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And Australia years. followed suit the following 50s. year, 1922, banned our girls from playing football in actual stadiums. I think that's what it was. They were banned yeah. from playing in the So you could go play in the park, yeah. but it's just that... Yeah, do you think if that had never happened, um, the football's game, would, the women's game would be just as big as the men's if game? If in 1921, we yeah. had more spectators in the stadium yeah. for an FA Cup game, yeah. we wouldn't be struggling with attendance the way that we are now. Mm. I, I think the... That's a good... Uh, that's a good there's definitely it's a different it's a different game. Yeah. I won't deny that. You know, watching the Matildas play, watching the Socceroos play, it's a different experience. But that doesn't mean it's any less impactful or any less important. Yeah. It's just mm. a different yeah. approach to the game. Mm, agreed. But I think having fifty years where we had nothing going on mm. made it really hard for it to pick up and, and so it's gaining momentum. I can't believe now. it took that long to overturn I know. it. Me too. Like nineteen seventy one. Wow. Yeah, that's not long ago. That is not it's not. Yeah. And I mean, it wasn't it until I think 93 or whatever, we were actually had a Women's World Cup, like yeah. an official Women's World yeah. Cup. Yeah, there insane. was an unofficial in the early 70s. Mm. And I think I, I watched a documentary ages ago about the English team going to this um, unofficial Women's World Cup yeah. in the 70s in Mexico. And they said there were like 100,000 people in that crowd. Yeah, there's always oh. been an interest for right. it, hasn't there? And yeah. the English team went back home. They didn't even make the papers. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's just tough. this. But men, men, men have always like. Let's be real. If you look at history, men they've, they've tried to keep women down whenever, whenever they've seen that. Yeah, you success, guys do that to me to, on this podcast. No, hey, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. The female we, orgasm we, doesn't exist. That was a <laughs> that was a myth that men were bringing out for many years. Yeah, yeah they like, just uh, didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> it's very similar to football. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, uh, on behalf of all men, I'd like to apologise <laughs> to all females for that 50 years. And I'd like to say that we do support the women's game, don't we, Olen? Hey, we support Olen, it much. massively. I love the women's game. I love seeing the women run out there and do their thing. Yeah, and you let's hope we can make up for that 50 years lost time because the, the women's game has exponentially grown over the last it 10 has. years. It's incredible to see, you which, know, they sold 50,000 tickets by last week in the FA Cup. Yeah. Who's your, who's your favourite female player? My favourite female footballer? Yeah. My favorite. Well, that's a good question. In in the Matildas, I'd have or to say just my in fa- general. Just in general. Firstly, I'll say Matildas. Okay. My favorite player in the Matildas has to be a mix of Mary Fowler because she's burst on the scene, but also I like Ellie Carpenter because yeah. she's mm. absolute she buckets of energy and she yeah. pushes yeah. so yeah. much. She's yeah. great. Yeah. She's great. Uh, but Miedemar's top class. Every time I watch her play uh, mm. in the in the WSL over in the UK, she's quality. Um, yeah. You know, you know who's a great player, and I think she's a little bit underutilized. Haley Razzo. Anytime I've ever seen mm. Hayley Razzo play, I thought the move to City was a bit questionable. Mm. She's not playing that much there. But um, Where was she before City? Everton. Everton. She was at Everton last season. Getting yeah. a bit more... Getting more, getting game, more time. game time. But yeah. look, nonetheless, it's just great to see that now like these girls, what's happened is the A-League women's right. kicked off though. This is the only thing. They've all gone to Europe now and they're not here anymore. Yeah. Mm. And I think the competition now has potentially taken us it doesn't have as much star power at the yeah. moment in the, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. W League over here in, in the A-League yeah, women's yeah, yeah exactly women's right so now, now it's a good opportunity to grow the it next definitely one is. It yeah, definitely is yeah there's a lot of younger is. ones now isn't there yeah. all playing in the uh, women's A-League yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You, there's yeah. some good skill too I caught a couple of the games yeah. over the weekend yeah um, Sydney FC is my team I love those front three Like they all scored as well Inc- Beanie yeah. Beanie's amazing Ola. Yeah. Um, Courtney Vine they're all so good I watched her when she was at the Wanderers so yeah incredible quality of football 
football and I just hope that, you know, it's it's something that I didn't grow up with. Yeah. Had I grown up with that kind of, mm. I suppose, people to look up to who play the game, maybe I would have like pushed Maybe you would have been a pro. Maybe guys. <laughs> maybe knee injury. Guys. In it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Knee injury. Yeah, it was my knee. Um, I was doing really well. Yeah. But, um, I heard I got Kat say that to a guy at the club the other night. She did. Yeah. Yeah. I dropping my like, bars. Maybe I would have been uh, guys. Uh, well, I see how well it works for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I Work. thought I'd give it a try it too. It works really well. Well, yeah. it's a good, as we mentioned, like the A-League women now, it's a good opportunity for young girls now to be developed given that all those Matildas, all those superstars have gone overseas. Yeah. But you want to talk about Young Australian development, Christian Volpato mm. came in as a sub in the 93rd minute of a 3 0 loss, but don't worry about that detail. Yeah. He came in Minus at the Stadio mentality. Olimpico in the Serie A against Inter for Jose Mourinho, young Aussie who is considered not good enough and let go by Sydney FC and Western Sydney Wanderers youth teams. Poor. Why does this keep happening? Poor, poor, poor. I actually have a story about him because when I first came, um, the guy that was um, that was getting me a trial with Mark Coney, talk about that later. Um, <laughs> He was getting this, he owns his academy and he was getting him the trial for Roma. And I remember him talking on the phone and he was talking to like Sydney Olympic coaches and they were like, nah, you won't get him in there. He's not going to get there. He's not good enough, blah, blah, blah. They left him with this and his family. And he was like, nah, 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 he's good enough. He's going to get him over there. And fast forward two years later, guy's making his um, appearance for for Roma. So I just feel like those those players as well, they slip through the cracks so easily if someone doesn't believe in them. Yeah. And if, a coach, if that coach that, that I know didn't think I'm going to send him over there anyway because I think he's good enough, yeah. would he even be playing at Rome now? He, probably, he, might, he might not even be in football because he might have been given up because he'd been rejected or whatever. Yeah. And, that, and that's how players just, they just don't play anymore. Yeah. Mm. So it happens all the time in the English I feel game. like we come back to that kind of conclusion every week in yeah. some way that when they don't find that talent here, they end up, it's almost wasted, right? It goes into something else. Yeah, but, but I, I wonder just with with Volpato if his pl- playing style was just so suited to Roma mm. that it just wouldn't He's have so fit into How the. How can you the be suited to one of the biggest clubs in Europe and not suited? To I the have friends who no, but I have friends who've who've gone to different parts of the uh, part of the world yeah. and they're just looking for different yeah. things in your I, playing I style. I understand that in a sense where like there's a few players over here that play in MPL one and two where I look at them and I go. If I took you out of MPL one or two and I stuck you in like an in a lower league league two team, you'd fit right in. So I understand that yeah, aspect. We're not it. even talking lower league two. We're yeah, we're talking Roma the top. Here. Yeah, we're yeah, talking, we're talking top, 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 right? top, top, top. So he, he, there's no way he should have. I think through. what it is is like if you don't, because to your point, Kat, there's a system in place. Yeah. Right. Let's be real. We know how it works with the yeah. curriculum. That every team plays the exact same formation. They're looking for the exact same players. Maybe yeah. if you don't fit that cookie cutter model, mm. then you're shafted to the side. Yeah, Whereas that's European essentially what I mean. Yeah. Are more likely to take a punt on someone that's got a bit of X factor. Yeah. Because yeah. he's playing ten over there. It's like it's yeah. not like no disrespect to right backs, but it's not like he's gone over there and he's, he's a right back. Which no. is yeah, really, you know, and, and, let's bl- and let's and let's take into the fact that he's Aussie as well. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> that, that is a disadvantage. But his name's it's Christian Volpato, so I don't true. reckon he tells anyone he's Aussie. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. but yeah. now nah, the fact that he had gone over there and he would have been like, "Where do you live, Australia?" They would. The first thing they're looking at. The first thing they would have gone is. All right, well, let's have a look at this kid. Yeah. Well, it would have been the eye rolls, 100%. Yeah, yeah. You get that all the time, is 100%. It, there's also a completely different approach to scouting. The they can probably detect talent over there mm. way more efficiently than they can here. Yeah. Well, you know, you know how I know that he's now a, a Serie A footballer. He's a top shelf footballer. Is it so his Instagram? I went, I went on his Instagram, right? Just to have yeah. a look, right? This is him, like around when he signed for Roma. Oh, okay. Oh, he's yeah, just yeah. so pretty, you know, pretty innocent yeah, looking young yeah. lad. You know, I've seen recently. Young. No, no fresh fade or anything. Yeah, just got, yeah, he's got yeah. his trackies on. He's just yeah. happy to be there, happy to be part of the environment now. Now, he, now he's looking like a top shelf footballer here, wow, isn't he? Ah, he's got the Fendi on. Yeah, yeah he's he got made the Fendi he, jumper. He crossed, he, that check came in. The Balenciaga <laughs> sock shoes. Yeah, the check came in. I think in. it's a rolly on the wrist. And what's 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 the most important thing about this? A screams footballer. Um, the, 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 the toiletries bag. Oh, okay. is every LV footballer. Well? Is it LV oh, as well? It's gotta yeah. be LV. It yeah, is LV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. LV. That useless cool. toiletries bag. LV toiletries bag is just like, yeah, I'm here. I've arrived. They'll be taking their <laughs> toothbrush to the nightclubs. These guys. I don't know why they always. Hygiene is key. Everyone does it in the UK. Everyone. It's, it's, there you go. He's a footballer now. Yeah, yeah, he's got his abs yeah, out. Yeah. His DMs are pumping. Show me. Yeah. Now he's a footballer. And that's what we don't have in the A League. That yeah. that's the thing. You know, this yeah. this kid's a teenager. He's gone over there and he's already dressing like that and, and posting those. Whether you like it's it or not. A real culture to it. Hey. The, a yeah. lot of people just like pumper is the word that goes mm. around a lot to mm. describe to describe that. But you know what? Respect it. You got to respect it, man. The guy's yeah. rocking it, Thanks and he's me. made first team now. It's and we need me. more of that in the A League. I need more players. He's got rocking. Mourinho talking about him. Yeah, we need Mourinho knows who he is. Yeah. I want to see more grams like this in the A League. Yeah. yeah. 
rocking bit, that stuff. A little bit of flavour. A little bit of yeah. flavour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything we love and hate about football yeah. is yeah. all in yeah. one. You need it. It's true, it's but true, anyway, it's, true, it's, it's true. a great opportunity for him. And now the question is asked, it's like whether, do we just call him up for the Socceroos to cap him mm. so that he can't go play for Italy? Mm. Because apparently the Italian youth squad's looking at him and they're, they're really interested to have him you, playing you over you there. You guys answer that because if I was yeah. him, I know who I'm playing for. Who are you playing for, Lan? I'm playing for Italy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm playing for Italy, well, no Claude, brainer. As an Italian Australian, mm. the, you had that choice. What are you I used doing? to get asked that a lot when I was decent. Um, <laughs> people used to ask me a lot, you know, if, if it works out for you, where will you play? Same. Yeah. I, you know what? I guess you don't know until you're asked. And, and, Claude. And, and, who would you pick? You know what's funny about it? I, I, I always you pick Italy, man. It, Shut up. It you pick Italy. <laughs> you look, you all know. Italy screaming yeah. all over his face. <laughs> Come on. Because the, the players you mix with when you're playing for Italy is just yeah. different. You know it'd be, what I mean? Look, if you're playing over there, it'd be hard to say no. If you're playing yeah. in the Serie A, like, because the amount of the, the, the points, the extra points you would get if you're an Italian national team player, you go anywhere your career's set. Wow. But it would be extra special to play for Australia, come home, see your family, play in front of the people you grew up with and mm. represent that. But um, I think if he gets both, he's going to pick Italy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't Let's think he's going to pick the system Let's which told real. him he wasn't good enough. He's also, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, and he spent all this time in Roma. Like, he's, he's a, it's the way gonna, he feels about yeah, his Italian heritage is probably more Italian stronger. Italian now than Aussie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, time will tell. Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got a few Aussies uh, in the squad now that haven't even been to Australia. Exactly. So I'm, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we're calling up quickly, as quick as possible. Uh, we talk about young gems around Europe. Volpato made his debut. Mm. There's another lad who you're wearing the jersey today, Jude Bellingham. Man like Jude, my guy. Yeah, that's it. That's your guy. Yeah, I got in trouble, remember, when you said one word, young talent. I said Jude Yeah, Bellingham. yeah, yeah. They Everyone came was like, that's two words. Yeah, yeah. They fired you in the comments. <laughs> he is a young talent. He is he's a, a young top talent. shelf player and now he's killing it in the German Bundesliga but they played Der Classico on the weekend Dortmund against Bayern surprise surprise you didn't have to watch the game guess who won mm. Bayern again man. shit man. Same. You know, like but, but you go on, go you on and talk about apparently his match well, fixing well he, he came out he wasn't happy with it right oh, he had, yeah. a, he had a big quote he said um, I question why they've gotten a referee who's been accused of match fixing before to ref the biggest game in German football so Felix Zweier actually was done back in 2005 he got he got his suspension. He got his fine. He came back, and since then he's been recognised one of the. How players. do you prove yourself after that. that? You should never come back from that. that. You should never. That's like that's like me saying like I robbed the bank once, right? <laughs> I robbed the bank once. Like, okay, I didn't actually rob a bank, guys. Shut up, <laughs> right? And then I got arrested for robbing a bank, but yeah. then now I'm gonna go apply to rob to work in a bank again. <laughs> Am I gonna get that it's job? Kind of like that. I'm not gonna get that job, <laughs> it bro. Kind of is, that's pretty I'm good. I'm not gonna get that job at no. all. It's so like the you fact were working in the bank and you help someone rob the bank. Yeah. 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 So and then you ask for the job back I'm at back the bank again after I've gone to prison and come out and got my life together. Yeah. No, they're gonna say no. Nah, we know one. You, you never change your feathers. That's yeah. what they're gonna say. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't. I don't know how I just got back into refereeing at the highest level. Yeah. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying you shouldn't have got back into refereeing at like a. Like a lower lower level and mm. still make money, but at mm. the highest level in the one of the biggest yeah. games, mm. that's offside. No, I completely agree. It's offside? offside. I think to what you said, to be able to referee at that level again, mm. no, it's well, off. Apparently, he accepted a bribe back in 05, which in Italy that's just common practice. I think most <laughs> who's not most accepting bribes oh, in Italy? I want to know that. Fuck. Most refs uh, <laughs> have accepted a couple of bribes in their fuck. time, but in Germany, maybe that's pretty rare. I don't know. But uh, what you got us thinking about the, th the fact that a fair few refs they're actually mm. football fans. Mm. They are football fans deep down inside, and it's yeah. hard to. And I've heard stories from some former pros. I remember Bridgie was telling me down at Optus, he was telling me a few times there were a couple of refs, and I'm not yeah. going to name names, but they'd say stuff on the pitch to him because he's from Newcastle. He'd be playing for someone else, but they'd, they'd give him wow. shit about being a Geordie and because it was a Sunderland fan who was a referee, and he'd tell him on the pitch. So it's like these refs are human. They're human at the end of the day. I remember um, there was a story about this this guy was a professional ref, and he pressed. Um, I, I worked with him one time in England, and he played um, ref in like League One, Two Championship or whatever. And he said like he said one day like I think it was like both teams didn't want to play, and like he could have called on the game, like the game was fair game to go on, but like he was like he spoke to both gaffers, and the gaffer was like, "What, what can we do to get it off? Well, what can we do? What can yeah. we do?" Mm. And he's like, "Listen." Just get me a signed shirt from these two players, blah, blah, blah. I'll, do what, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> and, he, and they've brung him the signed shirt from both of the players. Oh. And he's, gone, he's gone out there on the pitch. He's going, yeah, you know what? We'll call it off today, boys. Oh, so like, wow. there's little things like that. They they're banned. It, it definitely does happen. Does happen. Well, there was question marks on the weekend. Kyogo, who, of course, is killing it. Ange Postacoglu signing at Celtic. He scored. There were question marks as to whether the goal was offside or not. Mm -hmm. Linesman kept his flag down. Linesman is a former stakeholder in Celtic, Bobby Madden. <laughs> 
so sorry, Bobby Madden. So Alan Alan Mulvaney, Bobby Madden was referee. Alan Mulvaney was the guy that kept his flag down. Yeah. Former Celtic stakeholder. How are you refereeing the match? Yeah. For Celtic? Who's deciding this? <laughs> Who's saying yeah, get him? He's definitely fit for the job. Uh, is offside as well. Done. No, literally, no. <laughs> literally offside. It's yeah. Literally offside. Literally it's terrible. Offside. Fucking terrible. Anyways, uh, we go we go around Europe. There were some big results on the weekend. We've already covered. We touched on a little bit of Serie A. We touched on the Prem and the German Bundesliga. Over in Spain, Real Madrid are flying high at the top mm, of the league. Vinicius, I saw, his, I saw his goal. Vinicius, he's, of course. Vinicius, yeah, he's flying. I flying. feel like his name makes him even cooler. Yeah, yeah. He's you know, such a strong. You know name. what we're talking about? Social media before they asked him recently because he's been compared, saying one of the best players in the world. They're like, do you read into the hype? And he's like, I didn't read it when they were saying I was the worst player, and now I'm not going to read it. When they're saying I'm the best player, mm, I like that. Good on you. Because he copped a lot of shit. When yeah, he, he did. Because he, because it was almost like he was the wonder kid. Once you're the, yeah. once you're the Real Madrid wonder kid, oh my god, they'll write you off so quickly. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's he's stepped up and he's been killing it. Benzema out, out injured, he steps up, wins him the game. Of course, there's no sign of Eden Hazard, even though he's he's actually fit for once. Apparently, Is he actually he's, fit? he's fit, but wow. he's not playing. Carlo Ancelotti's not picking him, and so question marks as to whether he'll go to Newcastle. There's been rumors that Newcastle might buy him. Oh, fuck. With the mm, billions, that billions January pounds. window, exactly. But um. KVC Westerlo, right? Currently yeah. top of the second tier in Belgium. Never They've put a bid in. You haven't heard of them? It's no. a huge team. <laughs> <I've never laughs> I'm really surprised. Anyway. They've put an official bid in. Their managers come out and said, we're going to show Eden Hazard the, the respect he deserves. We're going to bring him back home to Belgium and he's going to revive his career. Any chance at all? If Surely if they're in the market, then an A-League club could just chuck a bid oh, in. Oh, fuck. Are no. we going to put A-League <laughs> on the same no. level as... No, Fuck off. He's hey? no, no. You can no. see him down here. I'm pretty sure he'd probably shoot his leg off if he comes back <laughs> to Ailey. Come on, it's in Hazard. He's okay, a- but relax with the shooting <laughs> of the leg. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe he could. Right. Stop, maybe he could not, jump he's... into Perth Glory and yeah. you know nah. and run the minutes that that Sturridge isn't. You wouldn't see him down here, no. Nah. I'd love, to, I'd love to see him, but no, nah, there's no way. I could definitely see Hazard. At Where does he go next, though? Absolutely. What happens for what, what, like what happens for him? He's you know what still I mean? Like for me, it's still he's too good. I don't know about you, Claus, but it still pains me as a Chelsea fan to see him like not flying. Mm. You know what I mean? Because like he was such like a almost like a godlike figure for us to see him not doing well and just like killing it. It's just yeah. like fuck. Just come back home, mate. Yeah. Just come back to the bridge, mate. We still love you. I mean, oh, well, I'll take you back in Chelsea. Yeah, just come you back, take mate. Back. Is it is it the fact that he's maybe let because there's always question marks about his weight. Has he let himself mm. go, or is this the result? And Jose Mourinho said this in a press conference years ago. Mm. He keeps getting kicked. Referees don't protect him. We're going to see him not able to play in a few years time. Mourinho wow. said that in a press conference. Mm. Is it just because he was so good of a player, wasn't protected enough, got the shit kicked out of him, and now yeah. we're seeing the results? He was just targeted that for too could long. Be, that, Look at Neymar. Yeah, same thing. That could yeah. be because you. you you forget that these these world dribblers that we love to watch and we love to see them play, they are the most fouled players mm. every single game. Mm. So their likelihood of getting injured is actually very, very high. Yeah. So you build that you build that over years and years yeah. and years, they're gonna have more injuries than everyone else. Yeah. So it does make sense. Could be one. That's a right? good point. That's a great That's point. A good I point. didn't think about that. Hazard to the A League. Crazier rumors have happened before <laughs> and it got right. me thinking. I got a little game for you guys. You oh. guys don't know this one. Okay. I've got a little who am I we're gonna play. I'm going to put some spice onto this one. Okay? <laughs> loser, loser has to wear the other team's jersey. Fuck it. Oh, I'm throwing no, it out no, there now, no, right? Oh, my so, days, man. Alan, you got to chuck a Liverpool jersey on nah, if you lose this I'm one. Not Kat, doing that. you got to chuck a Chelsea jersey on if you lose this one. It's a couple of Premier League clubs that were rumored to sign huge players. Okay. Have a listen to this. So, we're guessing clubs. As soon as you know, you yell it out. Oh, okay. Okay. You, no, you're guessing who, 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 get who get it was. Get a rundown on this. Okay. There was no rundown for this. This is purely just out. So, wait, wait, say it again. Who am I? Yeah. Okay. Well, surely I get a point for understanding the instructions. I am a current <laughs> Premier League manager and I almost joined Wigan Athletic near the end of my career in 2005. But I was deemed not good enough to compete for a place with Jimmy Bullard and Graham Kavanagh in midfield of Wigan Athletic. I made 250 appearances for Barcelona and I'm a current Premier League manager and I wasn't good enough for Wigan, oh. but I've won the Premier League as a manager. Wait, what? Barca. Wait, hold on a second. Hold Come on. Hold on a second. I played a lot of games for Barca. Didn't get signed for Wigan. But I've come as a manager and I've won Pep. the Premier Pep Guardiola. Oh, that's fucking good. That's it. <laughs> it was so obvious. That's yeah. so obvious. Like, I was like, wait, what? That's your what? man crush right I know, there. my brain was just frozen. Oh. That's your man crush. How did was, you not get I was, that? I was like, once you said the Barca, I was like, hold on a second. It can't be that obvious. Yeah. <laughs> no, it <laughs> was. It was that obvious. Shit. Let's go. One nil. Backs against the wall, Kat. You need to pull it out here. How many questions are we doing? Best of three? Uh, first of three. three. First of three. First of three wins. All right. Blackburn Rovers. Mm. have a pretty good history when it comes to ridiculous transfer rumours. I think mm. they were close to signing Lewandowski at one stage, apparently. Yeah. 
Rovers made an offer, £20 million over three years to try and lure a player from AC Milan to Lancashire. Brazilian magician who loves to party. R- oh, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. No. Ronaldinho. He got it out before Let's you. Go! Yeah, that's 2-0. Let's go, that's baby. That's 2-0. No L's I didn't even know what came out of my mouth. No what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, get that, I'll get that Chelsea jersey. This is why I don't go on games. Get that okay, you're going to be the Chelsea jersey if you don't Let's go. I'm pull so your glad. finger I'm out so and get one right. Okay. Do better. Come on, pick it up. Okay, Do okay, better, I'm doing it for the ladies. Gonna okay, we're going to stick to Blackburn on this one. Okay. okay. Also on Blackburn. They just won the Premier League title in 94, 95. Shout out to Robbie Slater, yeah, who was actually sure. in that squad as well. Yeah. Alan Shearer as well, yeah. Alan Shearer, of course. Yeah. And the manager wanted the club to sign this 23-year-old that was playing for Bordeaux at the time. The famous quote from the chairman, though. So the manager said, there's this 23-year-old. I've seen him play at Bordeaux. Looks pretty good. I reckon he's not bad. Chairman came out, had a look at him and said, why do you want to sign blank? When we've got Tim Sherwood, who's far better. Who was he talking about? 20, the, the guy was 23. The guy was 23. He was 23 playing at Bordeaux. In the 90s, he was 23. He was playing for Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Chairman it's comes out and says, not as good as Tim Sherwood. We're not signing him. Fuck, it's Bordeaux. It's in, <laughs> you're joking, right? It's in the south of France. Ah, French guy. Was it Vidane? <laughs> Correct, Zinedine Zidane. Oh, did I say Vidane? I meant she Vidane. She said Vidane, no. that's not a player, I meant bro. Vidane. I Vidane. Meant Vidane. 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 Dyslexic. Offside, man. Vidane. What? I'll play You're it. just jealous that I got it. Zinedine. And Zidane. you also need to I beg, look I beg at him. I beg the comments to say that. No, no. No, it was Zidane. It's 2 1. I said Zidane. It's 2 1. Get that Liverpool jersey ready just in case for Oland I'm actually sweating. Oh, you should is. be. You should be because for the next one. While managing Crystal Palace, Neil Warnock said that he was convinced not to sign this defender from Celtic for less than £6 million because his chief scout said he's way too slow to be a defender at the highest level. Who are they talking about? Is it Van Dyke? It's Virgil it's Van Dyke! Van Dyke. Oh my it's Big Virgil, lad! Jeez, are you shitting me? It's <laughs> well no played. I knew I he played Celtic, so... Yeah. Oh. Shit. All of a Way sudden, too slow for the Premier League. Can you believe League? that? Yeah, this guy. That's what yeah. threw me off. Yeah, this guy's working at a at a. Well, it's obviously in it because there's something no? wrong with what he said. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How have you come back? There? Fair to say, he's no longer a chief scout. I'm sure he doesn't <laughs> have a job anymore. It's two two. We're going to the final question. There's a uh, lot on the line. I'm here. Uh, Big one. After a scouting trip to Argentina in the late 70s, Sheffield United showed interest in a vibrant 17 year old player. They made a dodgy handshake deal. Lionel Messi? How old is Messi? A dodgy handshake <laughs> deal confirmed a fee. I don't think Messi was born. Uh, of £150,000 for this player. Later that night, the Argentinian army arrived at the team hotel and they demanded an additional 150000 Sheffield United said, he's not that good, declined. Who are we talking about? He's Argentine. He's Argentine. Is it Aguero? Maradona? Who did she say? It's Diego Maradona! <laughs> Aguero, 1970. I wasn't listening to the year. No, the year the, the year players. was key for me because you said Argentina and I was like, yeah. okay. Diego Maradona could have played for Sheffield United. How life would have been different for Sheffield. How do you feel that. about Liverpool jerseys, eh? Jersey. Shit, man. You were up 2-0 as well and you were piping up. Fuck, you got excited too early. Howler. You got excited <laughs> way too early. Howler. How have you come back? She said Vidan. I, don't, I, I can't said believe, Zidane. I can't believe you've given her that. That's offside. <laughs> okay, man. well, you think Messi was born in 1950 or something. <laughs> <laughs> we all make mistakes. Oh, man. Fuck. That was poor from both of you. But nonetheless, Cat won that one. 3-2, well played. Olan bottled it, just like Venezia on the weekend. For my Serie A fans watching 3-0 up at halftime, they bottled it 4-3. Well done, Cat. Uh, we may see Olan in Liverpool jersey. That will be oh, interesting. Boy, That'll boy. make for a TikTok and a half. Could go viral, that one. Uh, wait for that one minute. Well played, Cat. Thank you. Another little onside offside. I noticed this one pop out during the week. You mentioned yep. Blackburn Rovers try to sign everyone. They almost signed Lewandowski at one stage. Mm. Didn't win the Ballon d'Or, Lewandowski. A lot of yes. butthurt fans. A lot of people weren't happy about that yeah. one that he didn't win the ballon. On, yeah. You both did videos on that. Yeah. yeah. People were the videos crazy. Did well too. They, did, yeah, they went people crazy. Were, I think people were agreeing with us. Yeah. Obviously, there's the Messi fans, but that's yeah. not it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Messi They're fan. Agra- I'm, I mean, I'm talking about as in hardcore but, Messi yeah, fans, as in like he yeah. can't yeah. go wrong. As in Messi. they couldn't see that the, the, there yeah. was any argument yeah, whatsoever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that kind. Yeah. Massive player, Lewandowski, no doubt. Uh, they pretty much invented a, a new award for him, Best Striker of the Year, which didn't exist. That that just felt cheap, right? But yeah. he's been given an award uh, in the Polish town of Wilietzka. Can I produce the Shabs? Uh, yeah, something like that. That's correct. Shabs okay. is Polish. They're known for their salt mining. 
Salt and wine and they've given him the Ballon de Salt. Ballon. I'm not taking the piss. <laughs> Ballon de Salt. <laughs> what? <laughs> they've given him a ball of salt. Right. To make up for him not winning oh. the golden ball. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Is that onside or offside? Is that just a slap in the face or? Uh, I feel like that's a slap in the face more than anything. <laughs> Ballon de salt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nah, that's yeah, off, look. That's a true off, story. That's all fine. Is it like it an hard. actual salt bowl, a yeah, ball of salt as well? a ball of salt. Did he like accept the award and stuff? <laughs> I think so, because it's like, it's his hometown, you know, I think he's got to be, he's got to be I nice. I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of like the, like, almost like trolling, like you, yeah. we, like, we kind of know you're the best player. We know you're a bit salty. Yeah. Like you are. <laughs> Literally, you're a bit salty, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it, that's a bit bad, I mean it. Poor guy's got everything but the Ballon d'Or, because last this year is... they gave him a Lego Ballon d'Or as well. Oh my God. He's got everything but the real one. <laughs> Do, look, he, he, he was the 2020 winner. Yeah. That's the hard part, yeah, right? Is everybody who's just one. feeling and, it? And, 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 and a lot of people are saying, well, like, oh, like, don't give him to him because he was the best player last year, not this year. Well, some people have said that. But I'm like, in his whole career, when he looks back, mm. like... He's going to be like, I should have won the Ballon d'Or that yeah. year. He's yeah. not mm. going to be like, oh, they didn't give it to me because this year. He's going to be like, that's the one year. Yeah. I should have won it. Well, yeah. And he, but he's got a ball of salt. And I'm not sure if that's <laughs> yeah. going to last. Uh, but he's got a ball of salt now that he can put up in his trophy cabinet. There's been it's, some it's weird new. awards given to players. Oh, really? I want just a quick onside, offside. So they get weirder than a ball of salt. They get salt. weirder than that. Would you accept this? Martin Odegaard. Oh, yeah, no, when yeah. he was playing for Arsenal. Real Sociedad. He's Arsenal, now at Arsenal. Arsenal yeah. Yeah. Great player. Mad start to life at Real Sociedad, taking the piss on the pitch. Mm. San Sebastian, known for their food, mm. known for their seafood. Mm. He got a fish. He received a like special a fish, fish from the supermarket. Yeah, as a, as a reward for his great start to life. <laughs> Would you take that, Olin? I mean, I mean food, so I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd eat it. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a weird award. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fish. Thanks for your efforts. He's a fish. Great player. Would you take oh, it, Look, I, I love seafood. I'd so cook it up. It. Decent. Yeah. It gets worse than that. So oh, strap no. yourselves in. So we uh-huh. started Gosh, with the good one. Like in South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Mamelodi Sundowns player, Kekana. Was awarded for a man of the match performance. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit he was me. awarded five gigabytes of mobile data. <laughs> Fuck Does sake, that go man. far there? It would be in fucking where is it? South Africa. South Africa. It yeah. would be somewhere in Africa that they're giving <laughs> away fucking three gigabytes of fucking data, man. Five gigabytes. Do better. Oh, <laughs> Do better, That's man. That's quality. That's quality. I like, I've accepted it. Yeah, you take it. <laughs> you I mean, it. we can always use extra data, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's wild. They probably got better internet than Australia. Let's no, I know. It's not hard. Really. Not hard. Probably We're going to stick with Africa for this next one. Yeah. Man of the match in a Zimbabwe's Premier Soccer League. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's was presented, and bad. this was for a full season, a, a, a 24 case of beers <gasps> for man of the match. That's on side. That'd you go that, very right? well in Australia. That sounds like Sunday League. Yeah. yeah. It, <laughs> does, it, does. Happens. it sounds like something I got over here. Yeah. 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 You take that. No, I'll take it. 100%. Uh, we're going we're gonna to stick there just because it's brilliant, right? Summer 2019. This one's a great one. Malawi Premier League, right? The team is Niasa Big Bullets. Mm. And Hassan Kajoke enjoyed a match to remember, scored two goals. And so he was presented afterwards with a cardboard box with his name spray paint on it. Inside the cardboard box was a live chicken for man <laughs> of the match. <laughs> A live chicken. Live chicken Wait, in the Malawi, Malawi Premier League. Oh, my Who's God. Who's thinking of this? Mm. I mean, I'm black, so I'm never turning down chicken. I'm cooking <laughs> it up. Somehow, I'm cooking it up. I'm not you cooking it up myself. It. I'm giving it to someone yeah. to cook you get, up. Get we never, we never turn it. down chicken. Yeah. You know? So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's, that's what, on site. This is like, you know, Christmas. You get a present that you don't really want. Yeah. You have to be nice you about it. it. I feel like that's like a chicken in a box. Yeah. Would you keep it as a pet or would you eat it? like? Oh, no, I'd probably turn it into a pet. Yeah? yeah, really? Yeah, I've, nah. I could buy chicken at a store. I'll yeah. look after yeah, this look chicken. After cooking your own chicken is gonna hit differently. You're, right? You literally just <laughs> said that you wouldn't right? cook your own chicken. Not gonna hit differently. I know yeah. you think I should be in the kitchen. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. here we go. You've done. I've not even mentioned. Prick, it. Somehow <laughs> we got back to me cancel cooking. All oh, here we go. Hashtag oh, cancel. Go. You're gonna be cancelled. Right? You're, you're gonna be shadow banned before you realise it. This is a football podcast, actually. Just want to remind everyone, and I do want to say a big thank you before we wind out uh, to everyone that subscribed, liked, shared all our stuff, sent in all your comments. It's been Thank it's you been awesome. I'm going to answer Thank a few you. quick ones before we go. Costa on Instagram. Thoughts on wearing other Premier... He actually wrote, he said he wrote, love the pod first. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. If you. Still. If still. Thoughts on wearing other Premier League clubs kits other than your th- favourite club, onside or offside? Don't fucking do it. That's offside. You can't yeah, do it, can you? You can't do it. That's illegal. Cut. Would you wear something that's not Liverpool? 
I have. Like yeah. I've, I wear Barcelona stuff as well. No, but Premier League. Premier oh, League. Premier League. Sorry, I've t- completely missed that part of the That's question. Right. No, I wouldn't. You've been drinking. Yeah, huh? She's out of fear. <laughs> no, I would never do that. It's and, I, and when people thought I was in a city jersey, but it was actually just a light blue Adidas yeah, t-shirt, okay. I was on to very you, offended. You, okay. I had to make a post to be like, guys, it's a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. It's a t-shirt. But can, can you wear like a Norwich or like a a non-threatening team or not nah. even? I, I would. It's just I outside. think you, you could actually do a bit of that. I, yeah. you, you definitely couldn't do like a top six. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you can't have like, you can't be rocking Man United one day. And well, you nah. You're nah. going to be wearing a Liverpool jersey. Oh, oh there we go. Shit. And that would that. be offside usually, but it would be very onside for us. I don't know, I don't okay. know if you could okay. do that. I don't know. I've got a Michu Swansea jersey. And I think that passes because he yeah, was an I think absolute that's okay. legend in that oh, year. Yeah. But, and he's, they're not really threatening. Yeah. Not yeah. In and out. Nonetheless, thanks for the question, Kostaki. Sam Pappas. The day of the Greeks. <laughs> I don't know much to cheer about on the park, but at least they're joining us here off the pitch and yeah. I appreciate it. Hey guys, loving the podcast. Which players who didn't play for your club did you support or made you fall in love with the game? Ooh. As a Liverpool supporter, mine is Alexandre Pato. Love that. What a player Pato, he was. you loved him, really. What a player AC, he was. Yeah, when he was at AC. Player baller. that didn't play for your club that you absolutely loved. For me, Drogba, 100%. Yeah. When he was like, ch- unbelievable. King Didi. For me, Zidane. Yeah. Zuzu. Yeah. Just how majestic he was with the mm. ball. Like Top he shot. just was just like the way him and the ball were just one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love yeah. watching Zidane. So love that. I yeah. think at that, at that period of football when I was a kid, mine was uh, Ronaldinho mm. and uh and in the Premier League, JJ Acocha. Oh yeah. Because these yeah. were just yeah. players. So good they named him twice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Because yeah, yeah, these Acocha. are just players that were having fun on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't that, it seemed like it wasn't serious to yeah. them. Just take That's the how good they are. Yeah. How effortless mm. it was. Do loved they it. have those players anymore? Do they exist? Yeah. Neymar's the closest thing. But now you get carded. Apparently you can get carded for showboating. That's shit. Yeah, apparently you can. From like, for actual doing, Neymar's been carded a few times. But for like a rainbow flick or something. For like a rainbow flick, like doing, taking That's a bullshit. Like, yeah, I don't like yeah, that. You can get carded up. That's what sure. the game's all about. I know. I love it. It's yeah. art. Let yeah. them let them be artists. Express yourself. Yeah. Anyway, we need more of that. We need more of that in the game. Uh, last one here. I'm going to go with Anthony Gambrell on Instagram as well. Instagram's feeling some love at the moment. Mm. Are any goal celebrations offside? An example is this weekend's Chesterfield toe-sucking celebration. I don't know if you saw this, right? What? So... Salford City. <laughs> Salford City are owned by the class of ninety two. Yeah, we know right? that. Yeah. Paul Scholes is one of the owners. Yeah. There was that there was that weird <gasps> viral video. Oh, Do you remember that one? No, it's just clicked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. So keep explaining. Clicked. He was it was his daughter, right? It was it was uh, yeah. I don't know, there was a weird video. It was a weird vibe. <laughs> <That's> weird. <laughs> I don't know if he was he wasn't sucking the toes. He was like Whose toes did he his suck? Da- his daughter's <laughs> <laughs> That yeah, didn't it make was it. a weird yeah. vibe. It was like awkward. It was like how old apparently, is his no, Apparently, him and his daughter are super close. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make that okay. <laughs> that's what. That's the word on the road. They're super close. They do everything together. They post pictures together. Blah 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 blah. And then there's this <laughs> video where like she's like, oh, dad, and then puts his tone <laughs> yeah. up or yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's questionable. Yeah. You're not making a sound any better. <laughs> <laughs> what am I describing it? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Claude, what was your point? <laughs> <laughs> My point was Chesterfield <laughs> scored against Salford this weekend. It's a good question from Anthony. Thank you, bro. Uh, and they did a toe sucking celebration on the field. To <laughs> wait, wait Chesterfield did. Oh yeah. my god, that's hilarious. That's so <laughs> is hilarious. that offside or is that well I'm on crying. side? I reckon that's on side because that's great banter. Yeah. That's great banter. <laughs> so they imitated it. They imitated that's it. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's so good. That's, that's so on side. That's a good one. That's so is there onside. anything that's offside when it goes to celebrations? Like, I reckon the only thing that's offside with celebrations is like, um, is like when you're <laughs> doing something to the other team, as in like, almost. Yeah, stuff stuff to do with other teams. Like if you go up to the goalkeeper and give it to him, after yeah, scoring, like really, like in his face. Like yeah. I reckon that's the only thing where I'm like, oh, come on, bro. Because it's just I'm rude. Saying. Yeah, it's ag- it's against the the whole like yeah. point of the game. Celebrate with your team. Yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. only thing I think. So, I'm, I'm trying to keep my shit together. Cat's still in tears. Cat's still crying with the toe sucking. Oh up. my god. On that note, I think we'll uh, we'll end it for the week. It's been a great week of football. I'm sure we got a cracking week coming up. We have got Champions oh. League football. Of course, all the leagues are back on the weekend, so we're gonna have plenty to talk about. Next week, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's end it with a quick one. I know you guys like your one word. Mm. Your one word answers. Cat. Toe sucking. One word. 
I had a word ready that was not. That I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I think that's going to be the title of the pod. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to go with that. We're not going to go with that. We're going to go with. Um, we're going to go with something completely different. Let's let's not go with toe sucking. I'm going to go mean, with. There's nothing wrong with toe sucking. No, there's nothing wrong with it if that's your thing. If that's what you're into. One you know word. Mean? One word to describe. Christian Volpata. Classic. Classic. Yeah. Yeah, that makes no sense because he's a new player. What did you say classy? He can't be classy. I fuck it up every week. Yeah, that's pretty shit. I want to say classy. (laughs) I'm going to go... I'm going to go... I'm not going to ask you a different one, Olaf, because it's been a great week for the women's game. Sammy Kerr winning it. So one word to describe the state of women's football now. Mm. (laughs) On the... Oh, shit. Be careful. Upwards. Upwards. (laughs) That's a safe word. (laughs) Well played, well played. It's definitely upwards. We absolutely love seeing it here. I'm there going to sign go. out the pod. There you uh, go. Thank guys, you guys, thanks for joining us. We love keep, you guys. Keep the comments flying in. Hit that subscribe button, and we're looking forward to seeing you next week for some more Born Offside. We'll see, see you next week, see you guys. guys. See you. See you.